Hi guys, so I decided to make a series of quick videos to explain to you a little bit better how freelancing, remote working, and uh, flexible working works. Uh, because I know a lot of people um, are not really familiar on what type of jobs are out there. How, how do you get started? Where do I apply? Do I need to invest money or not to get started? So just to give you a quick, quick overview, um, we would... We're gonna put them into three different buckets, okay? So one is freelancing, one is remote working or flex flexible working, and another one is the entrepreneurial type. So the freelancing type is what you would commonly hear uh, and you are paid per gig or per hour, per task, uh, something that you would um, get from Fiverr, for example, or 99designs or Upwork uh, or freelance.com. So these are types that are you are you're an independent worker and you charge um, whoever hires you per task per gig or per hour and uh, and they would pay you for you know the services that you've rendered now the remote working type is basically you are associated with a company you are an you are an employee but you're not working in the office of the company so <clears throat> one example is that um, you might be working for, you know, as a software developer for a company and you're employed, you have a contract with them and you need to log in at certain hours of the day and, you know, attend meetings and whatnot. So you're basically a remote worker. You, you're like an office worker, but you're not, you're, you're working in a virtual office, right? So you, you just log in and log out at certain hours of the day or at certain times of the day. And um, but you're not working in the actual office, and uh, or the flexible work could be like you would be working three you know three days in the office and two days outside of the office. So this is another type you know you, you flexible work. Now the last one is the entrepreneurial type, and I think people confuses this with freelancing and remote working because the entrepreneurial type is basically if you have your own business for example if you're running your own blog if you are selling a product or if you are doing affiliate marketing and that sort of thing that's an entrepreneurial type that's a that's your business and you are selling something or you're promoting uh products and services right and um, you know you, you're not really answering to a, a certain individual or a certain company. You are basically you own your hours, what time you work, and your earnings also depends on on you because it's you know you're, you're selling something or you're promoting something. So those are the three types. So I I don't know if um you know you, which one you guys prefer to do, and I think this is where the confusion mostly is because um you're thinking that oh i want to start affiliate marketing and i just you know i just want money i just want money which one do i take but you need you really need to t to think which category do you fall into now there are times that you know maybe you would start from a freelancing gig or a freelancing type and then eventually because you've already learned a lot of stuff doing freelancing and working for someone else you shift to being an entrepreneurial type wherein you can go ahead and do your own affiliate marketing, you sell your own products and services, and, and, and that could work too, you know? Um, or you can be like in a remote work or flexible work and then you decided to shift to a per gig uh, deal because they pay more. You know, you, you can charge more per hour rather than doing a remote job or a flexible job. So they kind of intertwine, and, but, but, but basically you need to start you need to begin at a certain level. You need to, to begin in a certain category.